Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Jenny the Artsy Rose and welcome back to Yayoi's Main Story. I don't know what happened, but for some reason the episode, the Mabazan just went on me. It just, the, the recording icon just disappeared. I don't know why it did that, but fortunately I was able to save the video. The reason why it, the, okay, I know the reason why it actually went on me. For some reason the file got corrupted before I even stopped the video. I honestly hope I'm not going to be getting this throughout every recording that I make because I really don't want to have to, I don't want to have to deal with that problem. Anyway, we were just about to kick some Ayakashi butt <laughs> right after our, uh, right after our cutesy couple Yayui and Ayamina just confessed their love to one another, or right after the guys found out that they were in love. <laughs> I mean, after, oh, you know, he, the others found out that uh, Yayui and Ayami are in love, and now we are, let's continue, let's, checked, I passed through this bottle, now let's get on with this chapter. Even as they wielded their weapons, everyone's gaze was on, everyone's gaze on us was warm, or warm, everyone's gaze on us was, everyone's gaze on us are warm, so if you two love each other. That means the role of killing Ayamino will fall to Yayui. Well, I've done my best try not to think about it. Yayui said he'd managed to prevent it from happening. And I thought I would believe him, but... What? Have you thought of a way to break the curse? Yes. I don't know if we can pull it off or not. But I'll start investigating, and I'll choose a way that will save that will save all of us. Yayoi yeah, speaks with determination and confidence, and tightly squeezes my hand. Yayoi, yeah, I will save you, no matter what it takes. Do you think I could kill you? Absolutely, positively not. Yayoi yeah, shouts out sharply and slays an Ayakashi. His expression somehow unearthly. It's hard to tell how long we continue fighting. Although the Ayakashi are there are no longer any appearing in the area around us. Well, I guess the purification while we have the chance. With everyone protecting the gathering clouds of heaven. It's okay. Just calm down. Yayubi's here. Everyone is right here with me. I steal my nerve, and after putting my strength into the sword, I forcefully swing it down. A light strong enough to burn my eyes appears, and everything goes white. Then right after that, I'm trapped in jet black darkness. What's going on? What? Though I open my eyes, I can't see a thing. Where is everyone? Yayui? At that moment, Blows into my head. This this is not cool. This is not cool. Not cool. What happened? Oh, oh. I'm scared. Hate. Hate. Kill. Kill. Is is this suddenly red head? The symbols and purities is based on negative human emotions. The negative emotions people hold within make the symbols impure. Are these negative emotions? The voices that seek help. The voices that could curse people. They run through my head. They run through in my head. Mind. Stop. Please, stop. Gladly, and then without warning, fall on conscience. Ayamino! Ayamino's bot- Ayamino's bodily- the body slowly starts to fall to the side. Yayui immediately reaches out, but before he can reach her... What happened? Oh, hey, are you okay? Hey, it's the Tsuki princess, huh? She's unconscious. The one who catches a Yamino before Yayui is Ibuki. You. Ibuki, huh? Hey there, Renda. Good to see you. Ibuki flashes a big grin, paying no attention whatsoever. Yayubi's, Yayubi's player. Is that Ibuki? So you were the guy acting in the spring village. Is that you, Shiro? You've grown up. No way! 
In response to Ibuki's bright smile, Shiroya raises his eyebrows. When I was in the Hidden Village, you were the leader of the Village Ninjas! Yep, that was me, Ibuki. He chuckles to himself. This time, it's Rendell that frowns. Okay, okay, so this guy has shown up. What has he got to say? How did you get here? There should have been herds of Ayakeshi on the way. Ayakeshi's on the way. Those guys, I can manage them on my own. Manage? You mean you fought- You fought them all by yourself? All the four men, five including myself, had struggled to fight out the Ayakeshis. This man has single-handedly taken all of the Ayakeshis down on himself. So here comes the strongest ninja in the history of the Spring Village. That's too high a compliment. I'm not all that good. Trying to be humble, huh? Man, you're annoying. Randall smiles bitterly, then grabs onto Sh Yayui's shoulder, who whoops, who looks like he's about to la lunge at Ibuki, Ibuki at any, any second. Calm down, Yayui. Um, let Ayami not go now! Hmm? Oh, right. You scumbag. He runs. You, you dirty scoundrel. Don't you dare touch her. I told you to calm down. Just hang on a minute. There's still something we need to ask him. So save the boxing match for later. Meaning, I can knock his lights out when we're done talking, right? Oh no, please don't do this to me. Please. Of course, I know you've got a lot of I know you've got a lot of grievances to air. Grievances to air. Whoa, whoa, don't give him dangerous ideas while I'm still standing here, while I'm standing right here. As Ibuki shrugs with a grin, he stares intently at him. Ibuki, you caught Ayamino like you knew what was going to happen. Do you know the reason why Ayamino has had fainted? Yes, I do. Once at the wide-eyed Yayui, then quietly starts to sk The impurity cloaking the symbols is people's negative emotions. Yeah, we know that much. The reason the Field of Resurrection Lilies was more impure than the Summer and Spring Village's symbols is because the Autumn Village is in disarray over the Chieftain's arrest. See? Well, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, happened in Randall's story. So, if this is this gonna happen in every story? I think that makes sense. Ibuki picks up the sword lying on the ground and holds it up for everyone to see. What is that? It's black. Yes, this is because of the impurity. The sword turns black when purifying the symbol, and the power used for that purification. And is it? It isn't any kind of magic. At that point, Ibuki pauses and looks at Ya Ayami. A Yamino without effect, with affection. Don't tell me. That's right, the power used for the purifications is this girl's life. Her life? But then, the reason she keeps fainting is because the sword is shortening her life. Correct. Ibuki casually confirms the, the suspicions. Shiroya and Ayu bite their lips. Even if we had to do it by force, if only we had known this was happening. We'd have let her do the purifications. Hey now, don't give me that. Excuse me? If we don't have Ayamino do the purification, the island will be Since the island will be destroyed, don't you already know that? You should, because you knew about the scroll. Yeah, I know, but she has to do the purifications. Hurry to the winter village and purify the ever-flowing waterfall. You. You're completely out of your mind! At that point, Yayui finally snaps. Whoa! After running over to Ibuki and snatching Ayamino from his arms, Yayui catches her, holds her tightly, and grabs his brother by the collar. I don't know what you're thinking, but you can't tell Ayamino to die. I'm not telling her to die. It's the same thing! If she does another purification, it cost 
the Yamina of her life. Don't even think I'll ever let that happen. Faced with Yayumi's rage, Ibuki raises his, sh his eyebrows. Then he quietly replies, <sighs> I get it. Yayumi. Yep, he knows now. The last possibility for you to survive. Yayui, you and Yayui are in jitters, not quite knowing what to prioritize. After giving it a long and hard thought, Yayui makes up his mind. Yayui grins, then hugs me tightly. Then, without further ado, he lays me down. This puts me laying on top of Yayui on my stomach. This puts me laying on top of Yayui on my stomach. I instinctively try to move off of him, but he grabs my arm. You're adorable. Saying something so bold with such flushed cheeks. What's? Was it too much information for him to digest? I've given it up already. Oh, come on! Ran, how about appreciating, appreciating the cuteness of a Yamina? Is something going to spark between them? You have no idea how envious Yayui is. Why can't she be <laughs> down to, no matter how many times he tries? What makes me wonder is Ibuki. What is he trying to achieve? I don't know. I'm also curious to know why the purification gradually takes a Yamina's life down. Is it really okay for her to continue with the purification? The answer awaits. Move on to the next chapter. <sighs> well, this is... 